boys having fun there hey everybody welcome to the harmonica barge so today i've got some bluegrass and country licks these are going to be easy warm-ups that don't contain any bends just before we get into that do like subscribe give me the thumbs up and if you're into this lesson and you're really into bluegrass and country style harmonica I have a brand new beginners course, a level one beginners course. So do click the link below if you're interested in that. So let's try some licks. Here's lick number one. We're going to do it with a metronome. That's very boring, but we're doing these as a warm up drill, kind of like a scale, but just using a sort of country tonality without getting too technical. And our first one starts on the one draw. Once we find a count, one, two, three, four. One, two, leave a space, and one more time, two, three, four. So I'm leaving a space there when I'm practicing, and this is good for a number of reasons. You can just get your breath, but also, we're really focusing on timing and just getting that solid and you know this is kind of the more technical boring way to practice but very valuable and you know we should all probably do a bit more of this as practicing musicians so what's important in this lick and any of the licks where you've got holes next to each other at the same breath just try slide into the holes so i've got that two three four <laughs> So if I have to stop and take separate breaths, I could do that, but that also encourages a smaller tone if I start articulating or making it too staccato. That's exaggerating. But when we're doing these as licks and just trying to get a nice resonant tone, you might not always want that tone, but that's going to give you that nice resonant soulful sound. And I personally think when you're playing the harmonica, this is just my choice. Other people might disagree with this, but I like to get that resonant sound. Relaxed and resonant. You can always make your tone smaller, but I find it slightly harder to make it bigger after if you start small. Here's number two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same thing there as I'm going down, I'm sliding to the notes and these licks are a great chance, again, a bit like a scale, but I'm saying we're slightly more musical because we're going in the style of the music. What we're trying to do here is keep the technique very, I would call it robotic for want of a better word, but you're really trying to be consistent with the movement, the way you hold the harmonica. I know this sounds obvious but sometimes you can overlook how important it is because we're trying to we have a very specific outcome for this practice we're trying to play the lick accurately in good rhythm with good consistency of each note and each hole so therefore the way you hold the harp the way you move every time uh, 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 I'm trying to be like a robot every single time the same hey it doesn't have to be exactly the same we are humans but try and be consistent Lick three, this is a short and simple one with space, but space is good when we're soloing. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one more time, nice and resonant. I put a sneaky bit of vibrato on there for anyone who's doing vibrato. I'm not going to go into that today, but I kind of like that on this sort of style. Check out an amazing harmonica player called Mickey Raphael. Played on all of Willie Nelson stuff, I believe, and a lot of Guy Clark as well. Fantastic. Gets this really kind of soulful sound from the vibrato. And I've got one more for you, and we're going to go up into the higher octave. You may recognise this because we're basically playing what we call the major pentatonic scale in the higher octave. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'd recommend trying to learn one lick a week. So of these, try and memorise them. And you might think that's a low expectation to only learn one. But actually, if you just play around, say we take the first lick. So once you've really learned this lick and you've committed it to memory, that's going to be a go-to that in a situation where you don't have tab, you don't have music, you're playing with people. I can just pull out the first lick and then I can start to use it and manipulate the rhythm and improvise with it. But first of all, committing it to memory is a very good thing to do. So there's some easy licks that don't contain bends. Use these as a warm up, try and memorize one a week and you'll be surprised. They'll then pop out in your playing later on when you're improvising or playing over backing tracks or playing at sessions or with other people or whatever you do in your harmonica lives. So thanks very much, everybody. Do uh, click the link for the course if you're interested. It's a three part course. I probably packed in enough material for about six private lessons that I would normally give someone into this course. So do check that out and I'll be back for another video very soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye.